Thanks for joining us to the Japan Food Channel. Today we're going to learn how to make the tuna avocado mix. And I don't like the word mix because it really can be a topping for sushi or a standalone appetizer. This stuff is really tasty. So definitely be sure to give this a shot at home. Here we have a sushi grade tuna and we've cut it into three thick strips as you've seen. Now we've laid those strips down and we're going to go ahead and cut them into further strips and then turn those around. We're gonna make little cubes out of them. And uh, you know, the cubes aren't quite the size of fingertips, but they are decent size, so you can definitely grab them with chopsticks. Um, there you go, that's about what you want these cubes to look like when you're done. And the next ingredient that we're gonna put in here is an avocado. We've already sliced it in half, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and cube this too, and we're gonna show you how to do that. So cut these into, oh, just under a finger width strips, and then, you know, cut like so, as we're demonstrating here. And the last cut's a little difficult, so be careful with your fingers. Uh, you know, don't want to make a mistake here. And cut it like so to get this into cubes. And once you get to that point, this is what you want your avocado to look like as well. And once we're here, we're going to start with uh, some sherry cooking wine. And also, we're going to use some soy sauce. And on top of these two, we're going to make it sweet. We're going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of brown sugar. So let's go ahead and put the two tablespoons of brown sugar right in the bowl. And then we're going to add two tablespoons. This is the sherry, the cooking wine that we're going to use. Go ahead and put it in there right on top of the sugar. And next, what we're going to add is the soy sauce. Now, with soy sauce, we're going to add a little bit more than two tablespoons. We're actually going to add four. And so let's go ahead and put the four tablespoons in there. And once we have all that added, we're gonna go ahead and start mixing the mixture. And what we wanna do is we wanna do the best we can to get all that brown sugar um, dissolved right in the mix. And go ahead and just keep mixing and mixing and mixing. It, it might take a little bit, but trust me, you can go ahead and just keep doing it until that brown sugar dissolves. This turns into a really excellent sauce to go with uh, your fatty tuna, which we're adding to the mix like so. And also with the avocado as well. All these flavors and stuff really come together and just make for an excellent, excellent mix here that everyone in your house is gonna love, trust me. So what we wanna do is let give the fish a chance to soak it up just a touch, mix it in there, and this is what it looks like. You can serve this standalone or on top of sushi. Either way, it comes out absolutely excellent. You're really gonna like this. Thank you for watching. We appreciate likes and comments. Please remember to subscribe.